Hey, hey, welcome back. I am going to be doing an awesome haul video today. Me and my husband went together, which was really fun. We went to the bins and then we went to a normal Goodwill and we spent around $190 today and got a lot, a lot of stuff. We went into it hoping to flip stuff, um, but definitely got some things for ourselves too. So this is my haul video. Give me a subscribe if you want to keep seeing fun haul videos and I'd love it if you liked the video. All right, I'm gonna get started. I was so excited at the bins because I came across one and right now with um, coronavirus, you can only have 1% per bin. So if you get a good bin, you're in luck. And I came across a bin and it was a ton of Ray Dunn stuff. Watch sells really well these people like to collect it okay I'm gonna show you the Ray Dunn first this is a big mixing bowl and it's hard to see in the video but it's a really cute pink color and it says hip-hop over here sugar has the lid Easter ones. This one says poor and it has a cute little bunny. I'm really curious what we're going to be able to like come out with. This one does have a little chip, but I still thought it was really cute and it says nibble. Um, this one I'm tempted to keep. <laughs> Stir crazy for like your spoons and stuff. I love a good pun. Uh, this it's another funny one. It says hip hop. Ooh, and it's sealed. All right, holler. Okay, this set. There's four dog ones. I'm gonna sell as a set. Oops. This one says fetch. Ooh, sealed too. Fetch. Oh, woof. Nice. These are cool. Wish I had a dog. Let me get the other ones. Woof. Then I have a bigger woof. Canister. And this one. Another, another good pun, y'all. Bon Appetit. I feel like your dog trains. How cute is that? These are all perfect condition. So I'm hoping some like dog owner loves that set. Um, this says Happy Spring. It's a canister. Can you believe that I found all this together? I was freaking out. This says Scoop and it has a little scoop and a lid. Um, adorable. Sugar. I think this has a lid. I took all the lids off when we were driving because I didn't want them to break. This also says Happy Spring. It's a bigger canister than the other one. Oh my gosh. How freaking cute is this? It says tea. Great. There's two of these, I think they're salt and pepper shakers, because yeah, they are. They have like the little thing. And um, this just says coffee, which is really done. So a lot of these have a sticker on them from TJ Maxx. This says sweet with a lid. Here's the other shaker. Cute. This is just a cute little purple bird. It keeps going. So I had the coffee one, and then this says tea. This one, I need to wash it. 
where it says dessert. So I'm, just, I'm gonna sell all of these, I think. Unless I decide to keep the Sir Crazy one. Uh, oh. And another teapot. This one's really cute. It has pink with black polka dots. It says tea time. I believe that's all the redone done that I got. But I mean, that's a ton. So, really, really excited about that. Oh no, look, 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 one's hiding. And it says hot. With a cute little bunny. All right. Oh. Yeah, I was so excited. So, yeah, all of this for less than $200. This is, a, this is just a cute bug. I don't know who it's by, but I love pottery and I love this color. So I'm gonna put that in my collection. Then this was just a huge glass bowl. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use it, I don't know. It, it spoke to me for my kitchen. Um, all right. What else? What else? Okay. This is just like a little random craft craft thing for my mom. One thing I do is I'll grab baby clothes if I see them, like doll clothes. So this is all doll clothes and I know there's more. And I wash those up and give them to my girls. I found a bunch of Lego stuff. So this basket full is mostly all Legos. There's a few other things in here like a Paw Patrol character. My kids love these. Um, there's some Hot Wheels in here. Um, some like cute little bikes, but a lot of Legos, which I just grab if I see them and then put them with our other Legos. And this little whisk and this little masher I thought were cute for our play kitchen because they're mini. One tip if you go to the bins is find a basket or a box or a bag or something and put it in your cart for if you get the little stuff. Otherwise, it just falls right through your cart. So I got that. These are just like a scrapbooking apple sticker I got from my mom. My kids have a pair of these in a different color and they fight over them and they love to rollerblade around my house. And when you have four kids, you stop caring. But about that. So I got another pair, which they'll be excited because now they can both go at the same time. Um, these were fun. They were like all these different motorcycles, little toys, which I thought were cool. This my husband found, which I think is sweet. The person was a blood donor and they donated their DVDs. All right. It's full of DVDs. I got this at the Benz. So it's really cheap. It has friends, 50 first dates. Oh my gosh, the passion, Patch Adams, Pirates of the Caribbean series, Saving Private Ryan, Rudy, Tommy Boy, Top Gun, Billy Madison, Click, Superman, Born series, failure to launch, the Goonies. I mean, full. Oh, this whole thing, all of them. So, that's cool. I think we'll probably keep that. At the normal Goodwill, we got some hats. Daniel loves hats. And these all looked brand new. This one says Banner and Oak. I don't know. These were all four bucks. Nike. And this one is another banner in oak. And he liked the cut of this one, like the paneling of it. Um, also at the normal Goodwill, I found these Sperry's boots, which I, which I plan on selling, even though they're my size and I'm tempted to keep them. $7, guys. And they're in really good condition. <laughs> Women's size 8 Sperry's. Um... We got this at the bins to sell. It says Moto Muto World Martial Arts Territory. If I see anything that's sports equipment, it's 
especially niche sports, I snag it because that stuff always sells well. Um, cause it, so we looked this up. I think we could sell it for around 30 or so. And it weighs hardly anything, so I didn't pay much for it. More doll clothes. These, let's see. These boots are Kamek kids' boots. And honestly, like new condition. They were $4.99 at Goodwill. These are expensive boots. So I'm going to resell those. Uh, these are just a pair of Nike tennis shoes. I probably will keep them and throw them in with my, for when my boys get older. This is the original duck boot brand. They look to be in awesome condition. These were $7 at the normal Goodwill. Um, but I'm going to flip them on the marketplace. These I want to scrub up a little bit, but they're actually overall in good shape. They're coach rain boots. Um, and I was, I googled like how to tell if um, they're real or not and they met all the specifications. So they're cool. They're really pretty boots. Sell those. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of boots today, which we're entering into a season where this is going to go really well on Marketplace because people are buying for the fall. Sorel men's boots in a size 9. Awesome condition. These were the bins, so by the weight, by weight. And I have a feeling these are going to sell road easy for me. Um, this is another pair of Sorel men's boots. Oh my gosh, there's a baseball in it. Okay, that's weird. Um, these are such nice boots. So, planning on selling those. I got these. These are lacrosse boots. Am I saying that right? They're steel toe. I mean, these are nice. So, again, selling those. Um, this is just a Kia. It looks like a balloon. And it has a cord. This is like 69 cents a pound, so I probably paid 30 cents, 25 cents for it. It's really light. But I thought this would be cute in our playroom. It's like kind of a whimsical, colorful thing. I got a like, nice life jacket for our babies. Um, this is a nice Paw Patrol vehicle. We actually already have this. Um, but Paw Patrol actually sells really well. So it's not that heavy. And I'll probably be able to make 20 bucks on it. I've sold one of them the exact same thing before. Um, Daniel stagnant, stagged this and wanted to try and sell it. It's like an authentic Thomas Kincaid. It has like the certificate of authenticity on the back. So we'll try and sell that. Oh. Okay. These are Oshkosh. They seriously looked brand new. They're really cute little boots that I'm putting away for my boys. Oshkosh isn't really a high-end brand, so I probably can't bring in a lot from that. These are just nice uh, water shoes, which my daughter could use a pair for when we go play in the river. There's one flying around here somewhere, but this is a Nike, Nike Jordans, which I'm keeping. I'm, I love shoes. I have, my kids probably have like at least 30 pairs not more because I, I have a problem i'll sell them eventually oh these are vans and they're dinosaurs and they're going in the dark keeping i thought these were really cute they're purple sandals the other one's flying around here somewhere 
doll shoes, random spatula that Daniel liked. Okay, this is Prana brand. It's like a longer sports bra, which I like because you can just wear these with high-waisted leggings on their own. And I think it makes a cute little workout outfit. This is another workout bra that I got. It has a really cute like braided back. And it's one of the ones that goes longer, more like a crop. And then I got this zippered one. Okay. It keeps going. Okay, Daniel was all excited about this. It's like an old baseball glove. It actually is really cool. He was researching it. It's a Spalding. It's like 100 years old. So you could probably sell it for something on eBay, but he wants to keep it. He likes um, kind of old, cool stuff for his office. So I think he's going to find a way to display it in his office because he thinks it's cool. This was a North Face jacket, size large, black. It looks to be in great shape. So I'm going to sell that. So I think North Face Columbia, that stuff's going to do really well on Marketplace right now as people buy for fall, back to school. Um, <laughs> this is brand new. It's a Williamson Sonoma pink apron, which I wanted for myself. This is just a like cozy shirt that I got for myself. Same with this. Oh my gosh, the brand is called Cozy Shirt. That's funny. Um, I love Buffalo Plaid. This is a Nike shirt that I got for my kiddo. Okay, I this is not my style at all, but vintage clothes I've actually sold really well. I sold four pieces similar to this for 35 bucks the other day. They were girls. Um, and this is so cheap. Like, half a pound maybe, 50 cents for this. But this has like flaps and snaps, like they're like peekaboo snap pockets. It says Old McDonald's Farm, Kids in Motion, like vintage overalls. So I should be able to sell those. Vintage clothing as well. Um, these are Zara women's shorts. What are these? Oh, these are just Carter's cut off black denim jeans, which I shorts, which I thought were cute for my son. Another crafty thing for my mom. All right. Goodwill will do bundles in our area. We got this at the normal Goodwill store. It's $3.99. It has a ton of Paw Patrol cars in it and some of those pullback cars. So I'm going to keep some of it for my kids and I can probably sell the rest or put it in a Paw Patrol bundle. So like I said, Paw Patrol does well. Kind of random. Alright. This I just got for my daughter. Um, it's a Barbie life jacket because she needs one in the next size up. And it's like the Coast Guard approved ones. So it's safe to be on a boat with. Paw Patrol rain boots that look brand new. A nice pan. Run out of room, folks. Okay, this I have not set up. It's an Ambi Baby Natural Hammock. And it looks kind of like a baby swing where it has the arch, like the metal frame. I googled it. It, it looks brand new on the inside. I mean, it's used, but it has the instructions and in really good condition. But it has like a hammock, really good. I don't even know how to describe it. I think it's called a baby hammock. For your, ba for your baby to sleep in? I don't know. But I saw them going for like 360 bucks new or something. So I'm hoping to sell this for maybe close to 100. We'll see. I mean, I'm, it's not gonna be hard for me to at least make some profit on it. Um, a big roll, a brand new roll of gold wrapping paper from Tuesday morning. Okay. This thing we thought was funny. It, we were like, what is this? We, it has two 
called Bex Blend. And it has these two openings in plastic. We're like, is this like a storage bag, like a waterproof storage bag, or like to sleep in? Well, we figured it out. You fill it up with air. It's really lightweight for um, backpacking. You like swing it around through the air. It gets huge. And then you roll this, clip it, and it has this like big inflatable seat that you can take uh, camping with you. Daniel was out running around our yard filling it this morning and I was cracking up and then he like pretty much fell asleep laying in it. So it's actually a pretty cool thing for a backpacking trip that we will probably sell. Um, I got this cute gold wire shelf. I'm going to keep this. Um, car jack which was cheap and it was $2.99 at our Goodwill and one of our cars doesn't have one so we got that for our car. Alright I'm gonna have to pull some stuff from over here. Okay. This is called Diggin. It's a balance board for kids and it has music that plays and I think it has different games it goes through I'm not really sure. I'm going to see if my kids like it. If not, it looked like it had some resale value, or I'll be able to make a little bit on it. And they had a brand new box of Honest Diapers in my son size, so I snagged that. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just going to grab a big arm load. Random bags of crafty stuff from my mother. I called her. I'm like, Mom, I'm going to get some things. My daughter loves tutus. The bigger, the better. And this one's got it going on, so she'll be excited. Cute pair of jeans for the babies. Just a cute t-shirt for my kids. Daniel thought this was funny for my daughter Finley. It just says, I like pie. It's like, that's my humor. We're getting it. Um, this dress I thought was really cute uh, for my daughter. So here's a Columbia. This is seriously like new. Like it hardly looks worn. Really cute. Youth large, purple, gray, and blue Columbia zip up that I will sell. This is a really cute rain jacket. I'll probably keep it, but I might sell it. Another like new Columbia large zip up. This is just a romper with stripes for my daughter. I think I like this. I'm not sure yet. It's a button up camo. I'll have to try it on. I thought it could be cute with some like black skinny jeans. Um, this is a Nike shirt that my husband found for himself. And another Nike shirt he got for himself. These are um, women's mount, mountain hardware pants, which is a really nice brand. Um, and this pretty, they're like a skinny fit, which I like. Um, got pockets and an overall good shape. Um, I'm going to wash them up, but I think I will sell these. Levi's jeans for the Grow Into Box. Um, this is a pair of Columbia like sh hiking shorts. My husband's going rafting in a few weeks, so we grabbed those for him. thought these were cute. They're like little lights. I'm going to find a place for these in my house. Alright. I'm still just can't even believe that this was 180 bucks for all of this. Um, This is an LOL surprise. It's brand new 
and it's got all the pieces in it. I opened it up, so I'm going to sell that. I don't really like that brand for my kids personally, but I know it's popular. These are like the super sliders. There's four of them for when you move furniture, which we snagged for ourselves. The Hot Wheels. It's a car charger thing that goes into your plugs into your car. And another one of these orange baskets. I got two of these. Um. Okay. Give me a second. a huge bag of stickers. Some of them are really nice scrapbooking stickers. Some of them are just kid stickers, but it's hundreds, at least a hundred sheets, probably more, of stickers. So I got that. This is just another bag of crafty stuff for my mom. Another bag of like burlap and craft brushes and twine and the little mini clothespins and stencils. My mom. This is like Velcro and sewing stuff for my mom. Um, this is like one of the, it's from Bed Bath and Beyond. It's like those the set of the wood puzzles that you can put. I I thought these would be kind of fun to stick out on our like coffee table. They're kind of cute as is, but people could play with them. This I didn't even mean to get. I put it in to be like, Daniel, what do you think of this? And I forgot I put it in my cart. It says smart key, rekey technology. Rekey the lock yourself in seconds. Number one selling lock brand. It looks like it's got two door handles in it. I'll probably just sell it. I don't know what the heck it is. I never researched it. Some coffee. I made a huge thing of cold brew the other day, like over a gallon and it's almost gone. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I hate bugs. <laughs> like hate them. <laughs> with a strong fiery passion. Don't mess with me. This thing will electrocute them. Bye. A pair of kids keens that are in awesome shape. Look brand new. Selling those. Cuisinart steak thermometers. There's four of them, brand new. I'll see if Daniel will probably want those. This is the green toy. I love green toys. I don't know if you're familiar with the brand, but it's all like recycled toys are made from recycled plastic and it's a jump rope, brand new. Purple handles. Daniel snagged these. Edition flashcards. So I guess he's gonna make our five-year-old genius or something. These, I think you melt them, you put them on the little, um, there's like little shapes with pegs and you put these on there and then you put them in the oven or something and melt them. I thought I'd give it a shot with my daughter. I actually have some, but we haven't done it yet. How much more? I should have organized this better. I have two Instant Pots, and there was two of these little things that go into your Instant Pot, so you're not, you don't burn stuff on the bottom. It can give you a little bit of space. So I got those. This I just thought was cool. It's a vintage pretzel tin container. Um, it doesn't, it's not even scratched up. Usually these containers are really scratched up. Um, my mom and sister decorate a little bit more farmhouse, a little more vintage than I do. I'm a little bit more contemporary, but I grabbed that thinking one of them would probably want it for some. These are more doll clothes. There was a few dolls brand new in the box, but I thought the dolls were ugly and I literally just took the clothes off <laughs> to give them to my girls. This is a cute book. River Rose, Kelly Clarkson wrote it, I guess. Bought that for my girls. Okay. This is like the ribbon that has the wire in it, like the nice ribbon. This is silver. Got that for my mom. 
crafty stuff for my mom, more ribbon for her. I'm seriously like the least crafty person. I'm creative, but not in this way. More ribbon. These are brand new with tags, little old navy shoes um, that are my niece's size. So I got these for my niece. This is just a cute picture frame. Um, two Beanie Babies. This one, Luke, one of my daughters has, and the other daughter has been telling me, I want one, I love this. And they like fight over Luke, and I found another one, so score. This, I looked it up, it's Curio, it's like a smartwatch for kids. And it just takes a USB to charge, so I can charge it. I wanted to see if it works, because if it works, great, and it weighs nothing, so worth the risk. This is an Adidas, like pullover, Kind of a dry fit material. This I just thought was cute. It's new. It's from Target. It's Universal Thread. It's a nice small, like, overalls that I'm keeping for myself because I think that looks cozy. This is a really nice. It's J. Crew, medium, um, long coat. Um, super nice. So I plan. It's my size. If I love it, I might keep it, but I think I'm gonna sell it. I have a lot of jackets. Anyway, we are almost done. Can you believe this was less than $200? I'm really excited to see what I end up selling everything for and like how, how, how much I end up making. This is another crafty thing for my mom. Scrapbooky thing for my mom. This is a little frozen jewelry box when you open it up. The song plays. My three-year-old is obsessed with frozen. So fun. It's a uh, Belle Tiara. We have like every princess dress character. But our tiaras always break. They never last long. So if I see one, I snag it. <coughs> Sweet mercy, hallelujah. All right, speaking of which, look at this. Brand new, little like metal house frame. Candle, I'm gonna keep it. Probably put a candle, put it on my hearth or something. This is just a tablecloth and it's nice. It's brand new and it's um, soft on one side and then it's like a plastic kind of wipeable material, which I like these for like taking to the park. If you're gonna eat at a picnic table or something at the park. These are Patagonia shorts in my size. And they're cute and they're nice. They got the zipper pockets. This is like a whole big bag full of beading and glitter and craft stuff. So I'll look through this with my mom and my girls. See who wants what. All right, we are right at the tail end here. Copper Chef, nice cooking pan. This is a um, Simply Fit board. It's a balance board. I actually got two. I got one the other day for just like two bucks at Goodwill. My kids play with it, but I, I think that I'm gonna sell these. They're pretty lightweight and people like this stuff on Marketplace. I got like a brand new kid's helmet. Nope. Not today, Mom. I got a book. I not, know nothing about it besides like the two seconds I spent reading on the back. And it's essentially somebody adopts a child and then they see a missing poster like years later that looks identical to the child they adopted and they're like, oh my gosh, did I adopt a missing child? So, sounded interesting. I love a good read. This is like all these little wood cutout pieces, like hearts and flowers and teapots and butterflies and arrows. They're really cute. Oops, that's a little rooster. This stuff my mom loves to do card making. 
but I thought these would be perfect. She could glue them on. I think that is it. So that's my haul for 180 bucks. And we'll see what I sell stuff for. I'm excited. I For my last haul, I've definitely already come out ahead. Um, I've sold uh, probably $250 of stuff from the last haul. And I um, spent 70 something, I forget, 78. Um, so, you know, I, I, can, I kept mo that haul. I wasn't going into it trying to flip stuff. Um, I was just trying to have a few things to flip and then pretty much like 90% of it I wanted. This haul, there's definitely a good chunk that I'm keeping, but I'd say a lot of it I'm gonna sell, which is a little different for us, but we might become a weekend tradition for Daniel and I. We had so much fun together. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and this gives you a glimpse of what you can get at the bins. I mean, dude, 180 bucks, not bad. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to my channel channel for more haul videos because this girl loves Goodwill and I'm going to keep shopping. And let me know what you think. Have a great day.